this is Costini Hashiel. I was just, um, I just did a movie screening of the movie Alita. OMG. It brought me back. The DNA started talking to me while I'm, while I'm watching it. And the goddess that they found on the moon was based on Alita. The goddess that they found on the moon was based on the leader and you have to you have to watch the movie I'm not gonna give it away but if you know the situation and the story of the black goddess found on the moon then when you watch the leader it's just like it's mind-blowing because I asked I asked people in the higher rims is the goddess that they found on the on the moon is she alive? And they say, yeah. So, with that being said, it kind of resonated with me watching this movie. So, and mind you, keep in mind that the, um, date, this woman is so old, they can't carbon date her. She's older than the Sphinx, yo. Look, this woman is so old, they cannot carbon date her. And it's weird because in space, time is different. The only reason why we age like this and all of that, etc., is because, number one, the Caucasians play with our calendar. And then, number uh, two... Is that the speed, how we spin. We spin around the sun. Night, day, night, day, night, day. Some some systems have a whole year is a day for them. Imagine how they age. They can be wise men by the time they five years old. They could be teachers of us and be children on that solar system. You dig what I'm saying? But anyways, let me give you the uh, background history on this black goddess that they found on the moon. Therefore, I don't want to give away Alita, but I just want you to see those points and then watch the movie and be like, damn. Okay, so... First of all, they went to the moon. This is the moon. This is the moon trip that Tom Hanks made a movie of, and and I think this was the reason why they made a movie of it because of the gem that they found. So they made a movie of of this Apollo mission going to the moon, but they never made it because they ran out of fuel. And they only had enough fuel to get back. And they barely made it in the atmosphere and all of that big, big dramatic entry back into Earth. And he saved his comrade's life, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That mission, when they was on the moon, they entered the ship. A ship that looks like a Mayo Mayo, whatever that ship that they found out there, that rectangle, uh, that rectangular ship out there, the mothership. It looks exact similar to it. And they found this black goddess with locks and like almost kind of indigenous wardrobe. Fully intact. And. 
I mean, yeah, she was frozen. They thawed her out. Stripped her naked. And found her. Uh, she had huge eyes. And she had a protruding knot where the pineal gland was set. Uh, the narrators of the actual footage said that she, um, she had an attachment to her eyes, nose, and pineal. And they said that contraption they used to fly the ship with that. And she was the captain of the ship. So... She had all this on. They took her off. Beautiful black woman, big eyes, wide nose, big lips. Um, they said the crew was all decapitated. She was the only one that was intact. I don't know if that's true or not. But they illegally brought her here. She wasn't supposed to be brought here. They brought her here. So, that was the actual last mission. That was the actual last mission to the moon. From there, it was like, Oh, you niggas can't come back here. Who told you to take her? So, it was a wrap. And they ain't been back since. A lot of people keep posting up these videos why they haven't been back to the moon. Yeah, it was aliens and ships and stuff watching them. Yes. There are, there is a galactic family out there that is like the guardians of the galaxy that shit is real bro and they not playing with they not playing with these, these 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 folks here matter of fact they really not allowed in the cosmos so what they doing now they learning how to smash atoms so they can enter through portals and stuff it's still going to backfire because what they doing is letting more dangerous entities in. But it's only dangerous to them because when you come from royal DNA, when you come from the cosmos, everything is you and you are everything. So you just as powerful as the next thing out there. As long as you activate it, you have to down. You get that download from the, from the cosmos, from the universal, uh, the Google, or the deep dark web. That's what I meant. But that's the that's pretty much the story on uh, on uh, uh, the the goddess on that they found on the moon. Now, you have to remember that she is so old, you, they can't even date her. They threw a guess like uh, 250 million years old. She's older than that. And she, what the, the ticker about that is, she's not even from our solar system. You feel me? Those are the type of people that come in our on our planet and we see them and we pay homage to them and call them a goddess. Or a god. Because they have access to so much power and information because they're more tapped into the deep dark web. And 
people don't even know that they actually watch seeing a goddess in in the flesh. They have no idea. It's almost emotional, bro. That shit is crazy, yo. Real stuff. I got the video. Check my timeline. It's on there. I got two versions of it. And I got a version of them finding the Anunnaki. You know what I'm saying? The same pictures that they put on the wall. They found the giant in the sleeping chamber. Look exactly the same. Dark skin. Red hair. Looking like he just jammed to a, a, a Rick James album. Straight up. But anyways. Check out Alita. And then check out... Um, no, first, do your research on what you can on the black woman that they found on the moon. They're trying to, they trying to lighten her up as much as they can. They know it's an awesome story, so just check it out. And then hit me up, man. We could do some feedback on that. But for real, man, this it brought me back to that story and mind you there's going to be entities in that movie that you know need a head that has a head but need a body and like I said there were a lot of decapitated um there were a lot of decapitated heads I mean there yeah there's a lot of decapitated bodies on the ship. <clears throat> so. I And I don't know why. But they were. And I, I was just like. You know comparing the two. And. With that science. By you greeting the God. I, I'm, I'm sure. The capability of a warrior. A warrior princess. She was. She had to be. <clears throat> In a warship, it was gunned down. They had uh, bullet holes in it, <clears throat> and it was a fleet. So either they was in war, or they was just under attack. But I'm I'm sure, I'm sure she was a warrior princess, and she knew how to hold her own, especially by her being the one who. Uh, who flew the ship. So it had to be some type of military or some, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Tap in. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. Peace to the planet. I love you. I just want to say that, share that with you. And um, people, if it resonates with you, Shout out to you. If not, don't worry. There are more movies that we can talk about and relate to. Alright. I think the last one that we talked about was Venom. And uh, Venom, we all know that's about melanin. So imagine if you sun gaze and sunbathe continuously. like, But you have to eat electric foods. You got to eat right, right? So, if you eat the right foods and drink chlorophyll, man, chlorophyll is is a uh, a cheat code. Drink chlorophyll straight up and get into that sun, boy. Electrified, electrified. Excuse me. All right, peace to the planet. I love you.